Hello and welcome to another episode of Raman Rewinds. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest spinners this uh, game has seen. He ruled the roost uh, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and he was one of the members of the famed Quartet. He is also considered as perhaps the best off spinner the game of cricket has seen. I'm talking about Erapali Prasanna, the off spinner from uh, Mysore, who was uh, considered as uh, a top craftsman. They said that uh, he could make the ball talk. And that was the kind of control that he had, that was the kind of deception that he had, and that was the mastery he had over the craft of off spin. I'm reminded of one particular net session. He happened to be the manager of my table series uh, in 1988-89 against the West Indies. And uh, we were practicing at the Mokera Stadium. Now, going back to that particular net session, Arun Lal was um, batting in the nets. Rapali Prasanna was the manager, as I said, because those days they would have one of the former distinguished cricketers uh, combining as administrative manager and also the coach of the side. I always called him manager and uh, uh, we got along well. And he was bowling to Arun Lal and suddenly he picked up the ball, he said, I'll bowl. And uh, he bowled a few deliveries and then uh, I asked Arapali Prasanna, Manage, how did you bowl the one that left the right hand? This just give us an idea of what you did. Normally for an off spinner, what happens is the ball is held between the index finger and the middle finger and uh, both of them op- operate in a clockwise direction. And then Arapali Prasanna bowled a few deliveries. Then he said, uh, uh, Sasiri, that's the way he called me. <laughs> Sasiri, just have a look at this now. I'm going to bowl the other one that you are curious about. I might also lull him into playing a false pull shot and get him out bowled. So I said, no, this is getting a little bit too much to handle for the simple reason. Uh, I'm talking about 88, 89 and Prasanna had stopped playing uh, much earlier. So he bowled, bowled couple of short deliveries, Arun Lal pulled with a good player with a pull shot. And then he said, here comes uh, the big ball here, as he called it. He did something different with the sand. Obviously, when he released the ball, it was something different. Then I asked him, what it is that you did because it's different. I'll come to the result of the delivery later on. So once he finished bowling that ball, I was so amazed. I asked him, what it is that you did? And then he showed me as to what he did. Normally, he said, Ospin, I do this. And for this particular ball, I did the other way around. And I said, it's very tough for the ball to carry 22 yards or reach 22 yards to the batter. He said, you, it was not tough. You saw what happened uh, with a glint in his eye and that uh, smile of his and that um, childish pleasure he had uh, when he outwitted a batter. So what happened was that the ball pitched around the leg stem, Arunlal slightly short, Arunlal uh, looking to play the pull shot and then the ball gripped and bounced a little bit extra because he had bowled slower and played it a lot more. Of course, the ball was soft as well. So, what happened was the ball bounced a little bit more. Arunal had uh, got into position too soon, started playing the shot too soon and then Bird obviously missed the ball and the ball went and hit the middle stump. So, that's why Prasanna was absolutely delighted and uh, I was amazed because um, it's very tough. Perhaps uh, what is equivalent to what he did then was perhaps uh, is perhaps something that Ashwin does of late, the carom ball, uh, whatever that is called. And Prasanna always considered that uh, bowling to him was a mental exercise, it was a battle of wits. He said, if a captain of mine were to ask me to bowl just a few overs, not to give runs, I would have told him that I'm going back to the pavilion because he said, uh, the whole exercise of bowling for him was to try and uh, outwit the batter, uh, if possible, twice. That's how Prasanna Bailey thought, once in there and once off the pitch. And um, he said that perhaps uh, is uh, uh, something that uh, he said a few of his captains did not like. But then he was so successful in picking the case for his side, I think the captains would have uh, tolerated uh, whatever it is that uh, he wanted to do. I was a coach of the Tamil Nadu side and we had one young off spinner called Ashwin coming into the side. Uh, we were playing in Bangalore 
and um, Prasanna and I had come to the match and then I called, uh, obviously I went up to him, spoke to him, I said, manager, I want you to do a favour. So he said, Nada, sir, see me, what favour you want? So I said, no, no, I want you to have a chat with uh, Ang Ospina, who was just coming to our side. And I mentioned that uh, I felt that this boy can go a long way. And um, I asked Prasanna if you could have a chat with uh, Ashwin. Um, he readily agreed and then I told him, manage this uh, couple of conditions there. So, Prasanna with a glint in his eye and also that uh, thing of saying, don't push me too much tone of his. So, he said, uh, you want me to do a favour and then you got two conditions for it? I said, yes, manage, you got to be a little bit more accommodative on this. So, he says, go on. I said, look, one is that you have to understand that uh, he's a young boy, he's just uh, getting to know the ropes here and uh, you have to come down and talk like you would talk to a eight standard kid you can't talk at a certain level and then expect him to understand so that's one then he said uh, then he asked then he posed a question what's the second one so i said the second one is no matter what he says however stupid it might sound to you no sarcasm so prasanna says okay I have to pipe down, come down to eight standard level and no sarcasm. Anything more? And there itself it is that, that, that little tone of sarcasm was there. Anything more? I said, nothing managed. Get on with it. This is exactly what I don't want. Around tea time, <clears throat> he came up to me. He said, uh, in Tamil, he said he's um, going home. And then he said, uh, you're right. That boy looks like he is going to go a long way. I had a chat with him. Fairly perceptive guy and uh, I enjoyed the chat. So, I thought to myself, if Ashwin has done something which is pleased Prasanna in terms of uh, his responses over a period of uh, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, then he's definitely done really well. It's it's not that um, Prasanna is averse to helping people or he's generally a man who puts the youngsters down. It's just that he expects people to know a few things, especially when you are a part of the first class side. That's how they thought. But however, uh, that obviously must have um, helped Ashwin a lot. Um, and he went on to make good progress. And of course, uh, Ashwin is also a similar kind of character who is very intelligent, who is always looking uh, for ways and means to try and uh, outwit the batters. And uh, that is how uh, the off spinners in Indian cricket have been. Uh, it's uncanny how, uh, at least I can think of uh, three, four off spinners uh, who are engineers, who are intelligent and uh, it's always engaging to talk to them. Of course, uh, much recently I met Prasanna. The confidence levels of Prasanna is unbelievable because I'll tell you why. I had gone uh, with my son to the uh, golf course in uh, Karnataka and then lo and behold, by sheer accident, we see uh, Arapali Prasanna. It so happened that I had uh, spoken to my son about Prasanna and this incident happened about five, six years ago. And there he was, Prasanna, and then I sort of uh, introduced my son to him and then he went on asking uh, my son uh, if he was playing golf regularly, to which my son said, no, he's come to hit a few balls, he's doing it after six months. Uh, uh, so, he was not sure as to how it was going to go. Prasanna, the confident man that he's always been, he very casually said, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're hitting after six hours or six days or six months or six years. If your basics is right, you'll always uh, do it well enough. So, I interjected, I said, manage the same story every time. Simple rasp and as hold the ball like this, deliver like this, it'll all happen. I have heard enough of that uh, the simple basics now. No, no, this is not happening. So he said, no, 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 just come and have a look at it. So he said, I'm meeting after six months. So I'm going to place the ball and just give me three, four shots. After that, you let me know where to hit the ball. I'll try and uh, hit it in that, in that direction. And uh, Prasanna <laughs> kept the ball down, hit four, five, hit straight shots. And um, he had to show off. That child is deserved to be... Uh, appreciated and also to show off the skill sets, the confidence is still there. 
Uh, he might be into his 80s, but none of those qualities have left him. And that's what makes Prasanna. And then afterwards, um, uh, at the end of it all, he told my son, it shouldn't matter. It's all about you ensuring that you get the basics right. And most importantly, always tell yourself that you can do it. Now, that was a lesson for a young man. So he said, if you don't have the required confidence about yourself and your abilities, you will never do well in life, young man. And uh, Erapali Prasanna, uh, it was a pleasure interacting with him, talking to him. And um, I also happened to have a chat with him on his birthday. And uh, I was delighted to perceive that he's absolutely in touch with a lot of things that's happening around him. And also is keeping track of what's going on in the cricketing field as well. And um, Hopefully, I'll catch up with him because he had mentioned that he was likely to visit Chennai. And when that happens, it'll be my pleasure to catch up with the manager, Erapali Prasanna. That's it for now in this episode. We'll try and see if we can get hold of some videos of uh, the master craftsman. I'm sure it'll be a case of time well spent seeing his videos and also to get a measure of what the quality spin bowling is all about. That's it from me on this episode. Until I catch up with you on another episode of uh, Ramon Rewinds, be good and take care.